Tactics for Testing, Units 9 through 12. Track 8, Part 1. Listen to the following conversation. Complete questions 1 through 4. Hello, Sam. Hi, Katie. Do you have time to talk or are you busy? I'm not busy. Is something wrong? No, not at all. It's just that Paul has been offered that job in London and we have to decide fairly soon if she should accept it. Since you've lived there so long, I wanted to get your advice. Well, I'd love it if you moved to the city, but it would be a big change for you. You're used to the quiet life. Yes, the noise is one thing that definitely worries me about moving, but I suppose you get used to it after a while. I don't think so. I always enjoy getting away from it when I visit you, and I don't think it's very good for your health in the long run. The government has made more regulations to control noise, but at the same time, traffic is always increasing, so overall, it doesn't get any better. Hmm... The country may be quieter, but it's also boring. There's not much entertainment here. We do end up staying in a lot in the evenings. I'd like the chance to see films and hear live music. There's so much going on in the city. Yes. I suppose now your kids are a bit older, you can leave them with a babysitter if you do want to go out. Yes, we can. Although, I'm not sure if we'd be able to afford to go out much in London. Tickets cost so much more than they do where we live. Twice as much, in fact. Yes, I've heard other people say that. What about getting around in London, you know, going to work or to school? How easy is it? It's better than it used to be. There's a new tax on cars in the city, so there aren't as many cars on the roads. The main problem is that you usually have to travel a long way to get where you're going. It isn't as easy to get a house close to school and work as it is where you are but at least our our bus services are excellent. Yes, where I live, buses are practically non-existent. It would be nice not to need a car. But another thing that worries me a bit is crime. The news always seems full of stories about London. Is it really that bad? I don't think it's as bad as it seems on the news. In general, crime levels have fallen, that's a fact. And I don't know anyone living near us who's ever had their house broken into. So it can't be all that common. 1. What is Katie's opinion about the noise in London? 2. What does Sam say about entertainment? 3. According to Katie, what is the biggest difficulty about getting around in London? Four. What does Katie tell Sam about crime in London? Questions 5 through 10. Now listen to a continuation of the conversation you just heard. As you listen, complete the notes below. Write no more than two words for each answer. Well, thanks. I'll tell Paula what you've said. If we do decide to make the move, is there any specific advice you can give us about areas to live and schools and so on? Sure. I'll just make a few notes. What about areas? Which ones would you recommend? Well, it depends. Housing costs are generally lower in the east. But places like Forest Gate and Hackney are really interesting. And prices are going up because they've built the Olympic Village near there. That's in Stratford. Yes, I suppose there are a lot of new facilities. Yes, and of course, houses by the river are always in demand and very expensive. Hmm, it's good to be aware of these things. I think mostly we'll want to be close to Paula's office. That's somewhere near the British Museum. I know she'd like to bicycle to work if possible. Well, in that case, if I were you, I'd go on the internet and get a map of all the bicycle routes in London. Also, did you know that you can take a bike on the underground in some places? That might mean she could bike part of the way and then hop on a train for the rest of her journey. OK. And what about schools? Well, they do vary. 
and if you're moving anyway, it's probably best to choose an area which has a good school. How will I know whether they're good or not? You can look at the government website and find out what the most recent exam results are like for a particular school. I suppose I should go and visit them as well. Yes, make an appointment to see the principal and ask to be shown round. You can form a judgment about him or her and whether you think the school looks well run or not. And if you go towards the end of the school day, you might be able to speak to some of the parents. Ask them what they think of the school. Thanks. Those are really good suggestions. I should do that soon. Look, as soon as you and Paula have made a decision, why don't you come and spend a few days with us? Then you'll get a chance to look for yourselves at schools and houses and areas. Thanks, Katie. That'd be fantastic. I'll call you once we've made up our mind. Will you?